Okay, question five, the last of the stats. Awesome. So, a biased spinner can only land on the numbers one, two, three, and four. The random variable x represents the number that the spinner lands on after a single spin. And the probability of x equals r is equal to the probability that x equals r plus 2 for r equals 1 and 2. So that means the probability of it landing on 1 is the same as the probability of it landing on 3 and the probability of it landing on 2 is the same as the probability of it landing on 4. So part a Given that the probability of x equals 2 is 0 0.35, we need to find uh, the complete probability distribution of x. Okay, so what that means is, what's the probability x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 3, and x equals 4. So, we know the probability of x equals 2 is 0 0.35. Now, we also know the probability that x equals 4 is 0 0.35. Now remember, probability always has to add up to 1. So, um, 0 0.35 and 0.35 is 0 0.7. 1 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3. Now we know then that the probability x is equal to 1 is equal to the probability x equals 3 is equal to 0 0.3 over 2, which is 0 0.15. So the probability then x equals 1 is 0 0.15 so is the probability x equals 3 so there is our complete probability distribution ok then for part B we're told Amber spins the spinner 60 times we want to find the probability that more than half of the spins will land on the number 4, giving our answer to 3 sig fix. Okay, so again, this is a trial with two outcomes, 4 and not 4. So we're going to use the binomial distribution. So... Let's say then that let x be the number of fours, then x has a binomial distribution of n, which is 60. And the probability of getting a 4 uh, was hiding 0.35. Now we want the probability that more than half of them, uh, more than half of their spins land on a 4. Half of 60 is 30. So we want the probability that x is greater than 30 
which again remember using your calculator it always gives you values less than or equal to a value for x so we're going to do 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 30 so you can find that value using your calculator again I've got the old Casio class quiz which is pretty amazing makes the job very easy so you want distribution binomial CD and then you put in N is 60, X is 30 and P is 0.35 hopefully you will get 1 minus uh, 0.99411 which to three significant figures is going to give us 0 0.00054 Okay, that's part C. We are told the random variable y is 12 over x. We want to find the probability that y minus x is less than or equal to 4. So, a table would probably be good for this. So we know that y is equal to 12 over x. So, in a table, we know our values of x can only be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, y is going to be uh, 12 over 1 is 12, 12 over 2 is 6, 12 over 3 is 4, 12 over 4 is 3. Now we can work out the values of y minus x. 12 minus 1 is 11, uh, 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1 and 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Now we also know the probabilities of these outcomes. Uh, let's just call it P for probability actually. Because uh, they are the same as well the distribution for x y depends on what happens with x so the probabilities aren't changing at all so the probability for x equals 1 was 0 0.15 x equals 2 was 0 0.35 0 0.15 and 0.35 so the outcomes that we are interested in are uh, the so for y minus x we wanted y minus x to be less than or equal to 4 so we're interested in those three so we just add those probabilities together. So the probability that y minus x is less than or equal to 4 is equal to 0 0.35 and 0 0.15 and 0 0.35 and that is going to give us 0 0.85. Go. Cool.